Hello and a good evening. How are we all doing in chat? Are you okay? I started a little early because I was anticipating having to uh, restart the stream several times <laughs> to uh, to make sure you guys had the um, choice of which resolution you'd like to watch at. So yes, but anyway, here we are. We're live. How the hell is everybody? Can you hear me? Is is the microphone working? I can see, yeah, the VU meter's moving. So I'm guessing that's a thing. Yes, indeed. Where am I going? I don't know. Let's go back to Rubica. I can hear you. Can Do you hear me? No. Because you're not broadcasting to me in any fashion. But I can read what you type. That's a very <laughs> welcome. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce that. Vettel and Gas Gement? I don't know. Probably butchered that. As is my um, usual. I can never quite get it, so. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's go find Sav. I, I, I bet I know where she is. Let's, let's go check. In the murkiness. Ooh. Moon looks nice. Which moon is it? It does have a name. That's the blue moon of Rubicar. It has more than one. Yet we have no tides. And we have moons that big and close. Or it's an enormous moon. And uh, only looks that close in relation to how a moon looks on Earth. Let's have a look. We found some. Ha <laughs> ha. It's Norwegian, they spell... Yeah, I think it's Norwegian, they spell it Latin words phonetically. I don't blame them. <laughs> there we go, we found a salve. Well, come on in, salve. I think Londis is uh, probably LFT, yeah? No, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Latin is very hard to learn. If you're going into the sciences, it is worth it because there's a lot of stuff you have to learn that is Latin or just be able to just immediately do it. Plus, when with Latin, people can be insulted very easily if you are if you can speak or can understand Latin at the very least and, and everyone around you can't. It's quite easy to insult people. <laughs> Someone tried to do it to Stephen Fry. And of course, the man speaks fluent Latin among 17 other languages or whatever. <laughs> they said something and he, he said, you mean to say, and he, he explained exactly what they just said to them. <laughs> they just went, they looked very, very puce, which is a Welsh saying. Puce is um, sort of that colour. If you're puce, you're very unwell. So yeah, there you go. Um, don't don't try and outwit someone with an IQ that big and an education to back it up. <laughs> that's that's the motto of today. Yes, indeed. Right, Londis, are you joining us? Are you here even? I don't know that he is. I just saw him log in to game. I can see a Londis in chat. Yeah, go LFT if you want to 
Come and do some raidage tonight, Londis. Oh, God, someone's got a very long login message. Are you going to do a frube any time soon? Not on, not today, no. I may do, yeah. I might do something frube. We did sort of frube the, last week, just for the hell of it. Nobody wanted to do anything, so we just logged in lobbies and went off and did Biomare for a bit. <laughs> did the entire Biomare quest. That was quite funny. Well, I thought you guys helping me out so much trying to get... Oh, by the way, look, all I need is a right hand and a foot. I need to go and check GMI, actually. <laughs> People are asking silly prices for stuff, but... Isn't isn't the GMI terminals up here somewhere? No, I don't know where they are in Newland. Uh, I thought we'd return the favour and I'll leave it entirely between you and Mihalik on what you would like to do for this evening's raidage. I'm okay for any of it. Don't you guys have GMI in Newland City? You must do. Or is it only in Borealis? There's some near you. Where am I blind? Oh, right, okay. Yes, I'm blind. Let's have a look. I did buy a couple that were reasonably priced. I got half a bill. Okay, not much. Um, oh, we're we'll doing it the other way. Um, yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It finds out first, doesn't it? In... Tally in Fant. That should find them. And we go to sell orders. Let's have a look. Intelligent foot. <laughs> Nearly a billion. Come on. Yeah, th these are more reasonable uh, prices. Okay. Uh, we got N. Doesn't look like there is a right hand. Or is, oh, yes, there is. Again. Nah, too expensive. More than I'm willing to pay. But those are the only two I need to then complete my um, my sims and get alphas done. But there we go. So anything involving where they drop would be good, but it doesn't have to be. We can do... I know Mihalik really wants to get that belt, so we could just gun our way down to the bottom of the subway and try and get him that belt tonight. Intel infantry, yeah. Needed right hand and feet, I think it's called, rather than foot, but yeah. There's also some near the West Gate. Yeah, that's it. I, I rarely, I usually just come into Newland just to be nostalgic and look at all the pretty lighting and everything else. I like Newland, I just... Don't often shop here. So we have a Londis, there he is, and his profunctory hat. Right wrist intel. Yeah, I, 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 yesterday I logged in, I didn't stream, I logged in and I went through every Toons bank looking for, and I found loads, Found two, I found a left wrist and I was like, woohoo, found a left wrist, and then checked the bag and like, I'd already gotten one from, I think I bid on it in a raid. It's like, oh, well, I've got two now. Um, and so on and so forth. But then after that, and I'd got all those, I was quite pleased. And um, I actually got that. So now I've got the upgraded belts, should I need them. But I'd like the green screwdriver as well. But that's just, you can we can do that any old time, so. I have the support brain and support ear, but infantry eye. Is the support eye better? Yeah, we only had to do uh, six gazillion um, vortex kills to get that.
Yes, the newer pet buffs are very powerful, though. Yeah, I'm just a bit, I'm not sure if Sweet Death hasn't just returned recently. It buffs Intali, which would be nice, no multi melee. Yeah, I think I'm going to be okay on Intali, though. Uh, it, although it is the weakest, isn't it? I uh, know, Psychic is. It's one of the weaker ones. But I think with with all the perks and everything else, uh, I think it'll be all right. Right, have we got a Mihalik? I don't know if we have a Mihalik. Uh, I'm not seeing him. Let's have a look. Sent him a message. We're live. Do you want the subway run by any chance for that belt? Oh, yes, I've had a fiddle with the, the stream labs. Um, so now, if someone if someone does bits now, we get Brian. I've decided on Brian. Yeah, I, I, like, I liked Brian, Brian the best. <laughs> so... There you go. We has Brian. Mihalik, welcome to the stream. Oh, we'll get started on Subway. I know Mihalik really wants that. Um, really wants that belt. I make Sav the leader because, well, Sav is the boss. ICC, where frame rates go to die. There we go. We got Dilemma Halik in the stream. So yeah, I know you you were very you you two just dived in to help us yesterday when I wanted my screwdriver. So at the very least, what we can do is we can go and blast through Subway, see if we can get some more pretties. I mean, if we get a tank armor, then you know. Sav can have an, another pink tank armor for one of the tombs. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff I need. Drone on three characters, belt on five. Only, only five. Only five. Apparently the cost of a grace is redonkulous now. Is it? I have to know. Oh, 15 frames a second. What is this, Hodor? <laughs> five builds, that's <laughs> five years, yeah. Let's have a look. Search. Try again. General. 
Let's have a look. Oh, Lordy, 20 mil. 21 mil. Bill. Billion. That's nuts. 24 bill. I'm just going to go, yeah, that's what I saw. And I was like, no, I've got to see this for myself. Tell you what. Tell you what, I'm tempted. I am really tempted to get a grace. Um flog it and then i'll have enough money just to buy those implants but i'll have to faff around pulling um creating buy orders and such but that's really tempting for that oh god no i'm not doing it on stream anyway so if it's there tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow All right, let's start culling the trash. Get the procs on the go. My buffs. Yeah, the. Why have I not got a heart running? How bizarre. Uh, recast everything. Yeah, still two spots free for anyone in the stream who'd like to come and join. And if you're new to the stream, this is generally what I'll do, is pull people from the stream to come and raid with us. So then they've got a, tu a tune in level range that's, you know, has has enough gear, etc., that they're, they're okay in the raid. Or, quite often, if it's pandemonium, as long as you can get there and not die, you can come. Because pandemonium is, um, you can have 36 people. Yeah, I gave Lee to Sav because Sav. That must have been from Vortex. He must have killed off that debuff. I don't remember him doing that, but okay. Yay. Oh, that's why I made the map a bit bigger. There we go. So we can we can advertise. Tom Pex. Hello, everyone. Hey, welcome to the stream, Tom. Nice to see you. A little ahead of schedule, but I've got into the habit now of starting the stream like 15 minutes beforehand just to make sure that we get the um, the recoding option so you guys can, you know, pick a resolution. It doesn't give it you every time, although touch wood, he said, tapping his head. Uh, it has done for the last sort of four times, but yeah, sometimes it just doesn't want to know. Mrs. or M Ms. Savick, the legend. I made that error as well and was told off for it. So, yes. <laughs> yes. Savick is a computer code type programmer, you know, mega nerd person um, who created the map. Um, is familiar with stuff like auditing and, and all the various testing phases, so she was able to get it put into the game. Warped opinion. Here we go again. Welcome to the stream, sir. Nice to see you. I'm just reading Guild chat. 
Dr. Solo. Mmm, cheeseburger with Thousand Island dressing. In. Win. <laughs> okay. Yumi Himi, welcome to the stream. Subway, yes, we're going to do a subway run. I did get my screwdriver. Um, Where's it gone? Yeah, that's already done, that one. But I got that, I already had the Intelli leg, and then we did Naretval Canyons a couple of months back, in fact. Um, so I combined them on stream to explain how you can changed ear and uh, thigh to whichever you like which is why the ear didn't didn't you see i've got an extermination ear but i can take this out make it into exterm becomes an alpha and then click it again back to support and then put it in so i've got the where is it there hey, look, look shiny screwdriver we only did seven kills or something last night this was off stream so none of you missed out really uh, so I've now upgraded the two belts I'll probably need, the Intelli and the uh, Agility Sense ones. If I can get the green, though, then this belt gives you 70, uh, yeah, 35 to every uh, thing, which will make alphas even easier. If you're 220 and you've done the DB quest and you can use the nanos and such that you got from it, then you're good to go for this sort of raid. I mean, you might not be top banana, but I mean, neither is this tune. I mean, it's got some pretty bloody nice gear now, but, you know. MNG, MGN Solo, good evening. Good evening. What do you think? Where should I start? Have you done all your research? Oh, it's you, Dr. Solo. Right, uh, well, we did want another healer, didn't we, Sav? <laughs> I don't know. Been, that, you should start by wiping your mouth after having the cheeseburger with Thousand Island dressing. There you go. That means Savic doesn't have to play her doc this evening. She does, and she doesn't mind playing doc, but, you know. Um, Sam's bringing the trader. Yay. We can, we can keep killing some trash while we're here. You can't outrun mobs in here because it's a staged dungeon, so as you go through... You get various stuff. Techno charm, Carl. Yep. Well, so Sav wasn't trolling about Subway. <laughs> I wish these guys actually drop loot, but they don't. Please come out of Subway. Oh, okay. We'll do a quick DB2 for the buff. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. ICC, where frame rates go. Go to die. And we've got a performing band out here. It's rather cool. All right, let's get to DB then. Uh, me and Solo have some NTs close to use that new armor if it drops, possibly goes from part. Yeah, because mostly the 220s don't want it. They've got AI-30 armor, etc. already, so. How does one get into Savic's secret intelligence agency? Shh, there is no secret intelligence agency. Have a nice evening. Now I need to start work. 
We will. Well, you can always watch the VOD. Uh, the, uh, the wood. VOD. Whatever. Good luck and have fun. We will. Thank you very much for popping in. Sky Cannon UK, welcome to the stream. How's Heather doing? You all right? <coughs> Excuse me. Warped opinion. Where is this now? I get to see. Oh, well, this is. Let's zoom out. Perpetual Wastelands all the way up here. If you've done the Dust Brigade quest, though, you get some codes which teleport you here and out of here. Whenever you want, save getting it. Which portal? Far far left is two, isn't it? It's getting fed up of all this lockdown. I know. We can all talk about whether it was a conspiracy in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. We can all go to the pub once it's over. It won't be, though. I wouldn't hold your breath for even everything being what it used to be by Christmas. Oh, cloud right off the bat. Let's wait for the snare. Come on, snare. I want to get to the cloud. There we go. Yeah, I'm on melee so I can just pound on him constantly. Yeah, this is part of the DB quest you'll come to. This is one of the Dust Brigade generals. They're the kind of extremist version of clan, if you like. Or they were in the original storyline. They're just, just here now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you don't want to fall off. Because down there is where all the ads go. So eventually, I can't turn. No, oh, there we go. Yes, if you fall, you just run clockwise over the um, things down there and you'll be all right. I've fallen plenty of times, so all these quests are end game content db is yeah i mean you can start the db quest at 205 but you can't use the rewards till about 215 usually you get the the uh, nano deck you can see there that's the keeper one and then all the top nanos for your class you get most of them from this quest It's quite a fun quest to do as well. You can solo quite a bit of it. Yeah, you've got to be 205, so no Froob. Froobs can only get to 200. There's lots of other stuff you can do out in Perpetual Wastelands. But it is um, high level. Can Froobs get into it? Can they use any of the gear from it? I'm trying to think now. I don't, think, I don't know if they can. I think it's level locked, isn't it? I've done this on my 200 soldiers. Do they get the buff? Worth it to get the buff. Okay, we have a cloud. I can't move at all. He's on top of the cloud. You would be, you bastard. There we go. He's got a shield for the moment, so if you hit him, you heal him. 
Let's have it out here with the splites. Oh, yeah. Known, known for it. Yeah, you can come for fun. I don't know if you can get the buff you get from it when you can, when this guy goes down, but maybe. It does feel laggy tonight, though, I've got to say. Is that a fresh cloud? Robos keep, you need the green screwdriver. Yeah, I got the multicolored for the um, twinking belts. But I want the green for this one now. Oh, thanks, Robo. Robo's keep there. If you missed it, saying. And yeah, what the hell? I wasn't, I pressed move once and now. And there we go. Right, if you do fall down and you've missed cloud as well, you're probably going to die. <laughs> you get a massive debuff if you miss it. You gotta get through these clockwise. And it teleports you back to the entrance. I have probably missed that cloud though. I don't know how the hell I fell there. I suddenly faced completely different direction. Seem to be surviving so far. Yeah, I did have full damage. You could die from too long a fall at high at low levels. Um, not hitting. Ah, second cloud. Right, I can get rid of the cloud now. I can get there. That, right, wait for the snare. Off oh, of what? That's lag. That is a hundred percent lag. There you go. Got this time though. Oh, you got four minutes left on your twelve man buff. <laughs> Yeah, it was people falling in Shadowlands that they they got rid of it because it was everybody was dying in Shadowlands because it would miscalculate how far you'd fallen and people were falling from Shadowlands to Rubicar. So even like high level characters would just insta die when they landed. So they they just the typical way Funcon fixes things in Anarchy Online is they either remove it completely or just say they decided it's now intended so yeah once we got to inferno if you strayed off any of the paths in inferno that was it you you fell back to wherever you were above in rubicar and instantly died unless you were very lucky or had a hell of a lot of hp um but you know the entrance to the um the smuggler's den that's in um, Borealis, that was originally only an exit. And if you were in flight and entered it, you could um, fly in and it, you would enter as you do now. Um, and rather than fix that kind of bit of a grey exploit, they just went, yeah, it's a, it, we're going to just make it an entrance for your convenience instead of going all the way out to Southern Foul Hills to enter the place. And everyone just went, okay. <laughs> it's just like, that's fun. Fun comes at you to uh, fixing things in AO is basically that. We'll we'll just make it part of the game then. <laughs> if they, they either remove it completely or just make it part of the game. Yeah. 
Yeah, Inferno was unfinished. There was barely anything to do there. None of the quests were there. The missions weren't there. Apart from the statics, I think three of those were there. And we used to go to farm XP from them. Or you just killed hecklers in one spot for hours on end. And there was no no way really to get faction other than spawning dunge- the um, sided dungeon areas. So inevitably, and everyone predicted it, a neutral NT was the first 220. And they just stood in one of the spirit rooms, um, kiting green mobs for hours on end. I miss shop feeding from backpacks. Oh, God, yeah, I do. Swapping items from backpacks as well. Yeah, I got terrific lag then. It's okay now. That was um, not fun. Is that cloud or just a buff? I think that's just the wrangle, isn't it? It, uh. I hate the fact that Clang can fall to Omni HQ, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) From Panned. Yes, that's always jolly fun. Usually all right. If you're quick, you can just grid out. The thing is now, most people have got at least that Damage Freelancers Inc. recall beacon. You can only use it every 30 minutes, but it will take you back to the mission building of your side. I've, I've got the other two, but that's from Veteran Points. The old Veteran Point system. you got so many every month you subscribed. Right, we can kill him now, can we? He did have the 12-man buff, so yes. So we've now got Charged by the Machine. So we've got pretty nice buff. 12-man's the highest one, though, I think. And if there's any goodies on him. I think Mahalik's already looking. I don't I don't think I need anything from here. Just the infusers, okay. Yeah, so you get this stuff. D B infuser. Engi pistol. These things for upgrading certain armors. And those. And note and gloves. Thirty five to all nano skills. Not bad. Nice on NTs. Oh, come on. I'm trying to click the... Trying to click the exit beacon. You're having a look at the buff. 998 nano NCU cost. No, it isn't. Uh, Stacking on there. Boss buffs. Five hours... Must be player character, must be level 201. So, no, it can't work on a Faroob. It will check your level and you not give it you. It's a shame. Now, 30 seconds on. <laughs> It'll teleport me back. If I use any of these, it will teleport me back. But I want to use these ones. I want to use the, um, the, the thing. Gamble 111. Sorry, late on parade. Hi, all. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to this late on parade. You are not. You're fine. If you're here before seven, you know. Have you ever considered doing an Iron Man tune from scratch? Uh, yeah, I did it in 2001. It's an MMO. It's not supposed to be Iron Man play it all solo. I could, but the thing is I know too much to make it interesting because I know how to farm and make money and everything else. So, you know, it it would just take about half as long again to build a tomb than it normally does. So, you know, if you know how to farm money in this game, you can just buy what you need. I don't know what... If it, Iron Man means you can't buy things or whatever, then, yeah. No, I don't... For me, that just doesn't sound fun. Oh, wait, someone's, somebody's leveled. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Robotnik has reached enlightenment. Congratulations. 
and I like teaming with people, so I would be playing and you know against what I like about the game. I do do a lot of um, solo stuff, but that's predominantly for uh, making videos and stuff. But it, it, an MMO is a social construct. It's a game you play together, you know. You play Solitaire or D&D, you know. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could play D&D solo, but nothing like the fun of having a party to do it with. And it's kind of the same with this, really. Nothing, you know, I'm not hating on doing Iron Man's if, if that's what someone wants to do. Good for them. Go to it. Have fun. You know, that's what it is. It's a game. It's meant to be fun. Um, I genuinely do not think it would be fun for me, though. And if it's not fun for me, it's not going to be fun for any kind of audience. So, Except those who like to watch me suffer. You know who you are. Yes, you do. Samik is on her trader tonight, and we have we do have a dock, but thank you for the offer. Moo owned. It is appreciated. I like joining a 201 team or above with no experience, getting everyone killed because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yay for being a noob. People used to do that at high levels, used to call them heckler noobs. So they just, you know gotten a ton of levels very quickly without actually ever learning to play that character <laughs> which which is entirely possible and definitely still happens that much i can tell you we definitely see that going on quite often <laughs> i mean i'm competent i'm a competent player i'm not you know mahalik is like a a far more um, uber type player than me, as is Savic. Actually, I, I'm a competent player. I will not let you down in any in any raid or encounter. <laughs> I'm hit up till level 25, yeah. And level 3 noob. Nothing wrong with being a noob. Everyone starts off as a noob. You can't come to Anarchy Online knowing even 1% of the game, no matter how many guides you've read through. It's only when you start playing it that you start to learn the mechanics. Like, why the hell are you wearing that implant and armour, you know? People are like, what do you mean? They're totally wrong for your class. and <laughs> you know. I mean, you can. You can do that. If you can make it work, hey. But invariably, um, people don't. Well, my first tune, I had to re-roll. Kalos, the original, was um, a nano-mage... Um, adventurer and all his ip was all over the place in the wrong stuff and he really was terribly weak and we didn't have iprs and stuff then uh so you just re-rolled basically i didn't want to delete him because he could still give you know do stuff and fetch stuff and all the rest of it i lost so much stuff because i didn't understand what a bank was in the game i i crap you not i didn't know i went to i figured out the apartment and i was dumping stuff on the floor of the department of the apartment when you could just drop any item thinking it will be there when i log in next time and i'll have stuff and that's before i knew what a bag was or a bank was i was literally doing that so i lost a ton of stuff from early on because obviously you log out and after so many hours the stuff you drop to the ground inside your apartment disappears did not know that. I, mean, I ended up phoning up a, 
a, a friend who was also playing who actually you know invited me to come and play the game with him I was like what the hell do you do with with all your stuff and he says well I'll put it in packs and put it in a bank I was like packs bank what is, what is this you speak of <laughs> and then like oh my god what have I done Crash Core 105 hey 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 welcome to the stream So, yeah, we all start off as noobs. I was a massive noob when I started. But then again, everyone was, because the game had only existed for a few weeks. <coughs> it's all well and good knowing things after it's been out for 19 years, you know, nearly 20 years. You'd think, well, by now, you know, you should know a few things about the game. And in an effort to make it simpler and easier for people to get into, I started making videos. Well, actually, that's not true. The first video I, I, I made for AO was kind of a storm promotion type video um, in for iPad. And it was on Google Video, which was a thing before Google bought YouTube. At which point in 2007, Google Video emailed me and said, your video's got X hundred hits. Do you want to move it over to YouTube now we've bought YouTube because we're shutting down Google Video? Oh, hang on. Shh, shh. I didn't do it. Robo's Keep just cheered and it didn't read it out. What's going on? I got green screwdriver, bring your ass to MITAR when ready. It didn't work. No, it didn't. Why do you let me have a look at this? Can't be having that. Donor message. Show message. Yes. Enable text to speak. Text to speak is Brian. Why did that not work? That does need to be louder, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> Did it do it and we didn't hear it? It was too quiet. It should definitely, definitely have read that out. I made it louder anyway. Sorry about that, Robbers Keep. It should work. It's all set up to work. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to run off to my tar. And graciously accept the green screwdriver of doom. Yay. Thanks a lot, Robbo. And sorry your message didn't read out. It was supposed to. I can't force it to read things out. Goddamn. Okay, I'm going to quickly leave this team. Put myself on LFT and start heading over. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. ICC, where frame rates go to die. I have no idea why that didn't work. It should work. What the hell am I doing? Ran to the grid. I'm not going to the grid. It was working last... All I did was change the voice to Brian. I just thought he sounded funnier reading things out. 18 kills. Man, you do that fast. If you've done... Or were you already farming it when I started streaming? Because otherwise you've done 18 kills in 50 minutes. And say, that's some going. There's no raid lockout for... Um, <laughs> for for uh, Vortex, which is why people do farm him. Five min minutes per kill. Yeah, it's good, though. That's fast. Sweet Death. I think a language that has eight words in a row with three or less letters should be illegal. I am definitely getting lagged. You see that bounce then? I definitely just uh, rubber banded. Used to call it bounce, but yeah, it's rubber banding. It's 
stuttering on the server. No, yeah, we were just we did about eight or nine, seven, eight, nine. I, I don't know exactly how many last night. It was off stream, or maybe you just had a stroke then didn't say anything. Okay. <laughs> God knows what's going on in Storm Chat. He's talking twaddle at the moment, which is quite often the case. <laughs> Just rip the Michael out of each other. And then, you know, do anything for each other at the same time. Right. Oh. He seems to be up. Or is that just... No, he's up, isn't he? Oh, my tar. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, I'll just... I was thinking of Vortex. I'm an idiot. Uh, it's all right. I'm, I warped out. I am a doofus. What's the best setup for a streamer? I uh, probably having more than one system. I would say because then you've got a computer that just plays the games, and then a separate computer that deals with all the streaming via a capture card, etc. Doing it like that is usually a lot better even if you've got a system with um you know like a lot of horsepower like a thread ripper and you know and all that you're still better off separating it apparently because let's say your game box goes down like mine crashed on the last stream blue screen of death and the stream stopped whereas that won't happen if you've got two boxes. It goes down, you go, oh, the PC's crashed, and you, your audience is still there, you're still chatting to them and everything else because you're broadcasting over the second machine. Because I'm thinking of streaming my soldier's journey for the fun. Why not? Anyone can. You, you don't, you just set up a Twitch account, get some stream software like OBS or uh, SL, um, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, get it all set up. There's a bazillion guide videos for how to set up the software, etc. As long as you've got a fast enough upload, uh, you can stream okay. Some people can only stream at uh, 720p. Still works. I mean, you can you can stream with um, NVIDIA experience thing. You just need to, to get a stream key from Twitch and off you go. For all the bells and whistles, though, yeah, you want something like Sloobs or Stream Elements or OBS or, you know, something so you can get the integration. And then Twitch themselves stipulate what you need to get um, like affiliate. I think you need 50 followers or something and so many hours and so many viewers. And then you can monetize your stream if you want. Plus you get more stuff, like you can get um, just more stuff, really. Why am I in? Felt like I was in 12, man, then. I'm looking. Yes, the green. Thank you so much. That's awesome, my dude. Absolutely awesome. Trying to click the... There we go. Pew! Thanks a lot. That's absolutely the dog's danglies, he said, instantly upgrading the belt. Because it doesn't take long with... Uh... I have to make a little bit of space, actually. With these NCUs. Belt off. Oh, the belt's going to take forever. Okay. I'll run back then. Thank you very much, Robo. And thanks for the uh, bits. And I'm really sorry it didn't read it out. 
because I really want that working. I think that's hilarious. I was proof watching this yesterday's stream, uh, not last night's stream, Monday's stream, and it had like trying to get it to say clamber vulcan, clamber, you know, like <laughs> it was just having none of it. Okay, the belt still uh, come off. Why would you do this? Yeah, Clamber Puchwillian, and it was really, really, really struggling to do it. Okay, I'm back on LFT. I thought this would go a lot quicker. I forgot that this still takes ridiculous amounts of time to equip. There we go. Back in the dream team. I shall be back in there very, very shortly. There we go. We've got the upgraded belt. So at the moment, this is, you can see there, Hadrulf's, I suppose, a viral belt component platform. You get six slots, 30 NCU, 150 to health and nano, and then 35 to Intelli Psych Sense Agility. Uh, but with a wave of the green screwdriver, it becomes Zan's viral belt. So same stats again, only this time all base abilities for 35. And I believe goes on a lot faster, as you can see. Instead of minutes, it's mere seconds. Down, recompile a thing. There we go. Feeling Uber now. See, just with that that belt, um, you can see how average on average how all your stats are straight away. I've got two of the Pandemonium belts as well. Pretty epic. So, yes, very happy with that. <clears throat> Back to ICC. I've got to do Subway. <laughs> yeah, if, I wish we could 12-man Subway. Because the mobs have just got so much HP, it would make sense to have... 12 and just really motor through them. They are so much harder to kill than like even the trash mobs in um, Pyramid of Home are nowhere near as tough as that, you know. And I think the trash mobs, so I don't mind the bosses having a ton of HP, but like even the trash mobs is, I don't know. Uh, are you going to Humanities? Or are we getting respawns? Yes, you've gone to Humanities. The tricky fight. I will change my buffs accordingly. So we get rid of death, add to reflect. Equip a compiler in a second. Because I will be rebuffing. Watchboard down here. Different tactics, different buffs, different setup. Proc reminder, thank you very much. We got the proc reminder, yay. Okay, I do appreciate that, Robo. You're a superstar, mate. And 
like I say, I'm, I wish I could figure out why that did not play it. It's working. Test widgets. Why did it not do it? I set it so you can use... It will speak out your message even if it's only one one bit donated. It's not... So I really don't get that. That's just weird. And it's half the fun. I'm going to leave it on the default volume, which is quite a bit louder because once the game's going and everything else, you want to be able to hear it over the top. Now, this this guy is, in fact, the toughest boss in this subway. Second is Virgil and the Melvins, and then the rest of them are pretty much as hard as each other. I haven't heard it today yet. Maybe my set's wrong. Are you not hearing it on the stream at all? Could you hear it speaking then? Crew cop. Because I am hearing it. You can't hear it when I do it. Try again. This is a test bit of work. It's not making sound, is it? I've done, I've foobarred up somewhere. I'm hearing it here, but it's not coming over there. I think I know what's happened. You're not hearing the game either, are you? This is a test bit alert. You heard it. Right, so there was no gate. That's why you couldn't hear it. There was no bloody gate. Oh. Right, what I'd done. Somebody wanted me to listen to something at the end of the stream yesterday and I muted the outbound desktop audio. <laughs> God, I'm a noob. It only does it for bits. There's no setting to do it for highlighted text. I don't know why. Yes, I changed it from... It was originally that it said grains of rice, so I changed it to Notum Fragments. I need to add more emojis for you guys. It's just um, I don't have the tools or know or where or, you know, knowledge on how to create emojis. Yes, ready. See, I'm bouncing, therefore ready. And a ready-made macro. Thank you. That's been in this tune's hot laugh. Oh, okay. people being morphed so I'm recasting smidge nearer I need to be there's my square In the center of those squares it was my sweet spot last time right 
this guy is a nightmare to fight if you're not prepared for him. Trust me when I say that. Gotta stay spaced out. If you're not, then green rot is gonna get you. steady with him. Okay. On the tree, so I've got to wait out the debuff. I mean, I can start casting this, but it doesn't often knack your nano in it. Recast ward. We've got no got no nano. Eh, come on. Drained all my nano. Just have to assist. Is not the right thing. On, what's this? That's the one I want. Now I can cast it. I don't know why it gets rid of that, but yeah. I have 11.8k's worth of Newton fragments. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Yeah. It's what you get if you turn up. Watch many, many streams. You need to stop farming. It's all set to default. Okay. He buffed. I'm stopping. As soon as I'm out of it, I'm recasting. Recasting. I'm fighting. Fighting now. <laughs> yeah. I need to I need to do stuff with um, so you can do more things with bits. Yeah, there's bits and then things. The yeah, the uh, pit lizard buff is a debuff in here. Normally it's an admin advert adventure and morph but when it's cast on you by the boss in here it acts as a debuff see now I'm I'm parrot if I hit him I heal him it also mind controls people interesting ward for everyone yeah, for whatever reason, he... Sorry, concentrating. Is that an off-effect keeper? No. It is Solitus. Yeah, it cancels Ward, which is uh, very powerful in here. I think we've lost Sab's trader. Uh oh. We're all a little close to each other in here. Okay, debuffed. <laughs> Everybody stood on top of me. Recasting ward as fast as I can. Do 
people have bunched up too much yet. That's fatal in here. You get a dot, and if the dot touches you, then it's also, if you're too close, it's doubling up against your teammate as well. So if you all stand in a tiny little square together, then your rot is stacking with another one. So, yeah. Anyway, what was I saying about the morph? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you can cast pit lizard, uh, his, bruv, pit lizard other on people. You used to be able to. And waiting for the debuff to run out. Tree with a keeper sword, yeah. I've been rooted by Londis, I think. <laughs> Londis, you're picking on me. Yeah, you can see my nano in it is on the floor there with the debuff he's got. But I'm still going to get ward up. There we go. Is saying bye. Trying to respond, be sociable. Yeah, so Pit Lizard used to give you lots of HP and an extra nuke and stuff like that on Advi, but I haven't played my Advi since 18.7. Because they just changed everything about Advi and I didn't like it one bit, so I just don't play them anymore. After that, I made a new two. Oh, God. Mind controlled. We're bunched up. Come on. Yeah, I think I'm going to die in here because we've just lost the tank as well. Londis, don't stand next to me. God damn. Get your pets off me, Londis. Your pets are on me. Get them off me. Londis, warp your pets, man. Reset the aggro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's CH'd. We lost the trader and then lost the main DD and tank, so yeah. Londis, can you stop attacking me? <laughs> Londis has a death wish on me. Help me. It's like every time Londis tried, Londis, like, I'm healing Londis. <laughs> Londis is <laughs> Oh, God. <coughs> yeah, you got to watch that mind control. The best, of, even with lag, the best thing is go for sit. If you sit, you break, you break the aggro. Yeah, the uh, the keeper is Solitus. He was asking. Less people, more loot. Well, no, 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 no. He's he's not something you could just troll a lol over. He's really not. You, once you get it balanced, once you get the the fight going and it's going well, you just stay with it. Kill the various waves of ads. But if if someone doesn't get back on on their spot after they've been mind controlled then they could be dotting two other people and all three of you are then dotting each other and making it near impossible to heal so you've you've as soon as you get get control of your tune back like to break aggro if i start attacking anyone i just teabag just keep tapping uh, sit until you actually do sit and that's, you know, you've then got control back of your tune, so yeah. 
we got here? You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Okini has reached enlightenment. Congrats. My dude. Yeah, what he'll do is force the player to um, use CH on him. So if you have a dock and um, CH is on the hotbar, he'll use it to heal himself. All right, while you're rebuffing, I'm going to get a beverage. Like so. Better bird, 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 better And I'm back. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, got to keep your your distance in there. Otherwise, yes. Uh, recasting Ward again. We were doing this on the test server <laughs> before this was even on live. Trying to figure this guy out. Oh man, we ended up with my fixer just beaconing out whenever it, uh, you know, like went horribly wrong. Whoa, straight into debuff. I got Savic on me. And now I'm drained. Hopefully I can, yep, still cast ward. Wait for my debuff to go away. 
Yeah, drain me four. That wasn't that bad. Only minus five. That's clever. I'm just waiting for my bloody debuff to go away. Right. Ward. Ink. I'm sure I'm bleeding through a lot more nano pool than I should be. Sounds like that's not me. Weird. Double checking the procs as well. Sometimes I hum your intermission song at work. <laughs> yeah, that's not mine. I, I didn't make that. That's um, like a royalty free thing from YouTube. So as long as you put the rights to it, like on any video or whatever, they're fine with people using it, which is what I did. So yeah. I just thought it was perfect for like an intermission. I don't know why, just I heard it and went, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Using assist and nothing else. Out of range, but I can still perk him, I think. Yep. Keeping my spot though. On spot. Recasting ward. Assisting. Okay, that's a little better. there <laughs> seems to be about the right spot where I'm nowhere near anybody else which is what we need keep checking across yes ward is running that's what we need all the ward See ads on the dock, help him, yes. We don't want NDS on yeah, that's true. NDS is death of dock, isn't it, really? Yes, and also welcome to the stream, Bobby Scaramo Scaramo no Scaramo no one, yes. I'll get there in the end. So, assist. Lost the Sabs Trader again. Oh, 
So now I'm attacking someone. Come on. Give me my tune back. Thank you. Let me reset. I go. Okay. Finally get Ward back up. I should have got POH or something. Before starting this raid. That would have helped. Warping Sav back in. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm a birdie. Waiting, waiting. Come on. Come on. We get Ward back up. There we go. Yeah, I definitely need... Um I definitely need more nano pool. I have no IP for it. Okay, not hitting anything. I'm just going to try and get my nano to fill just on regen. There you go. We're holding it together. I'm waiting for the thing to work. Some thinked. There we go. Found him. <laughs> Kill him now! Oh. Mind control! Sit. Sitting. Okay. Got UBT. <laughs> so it may take a while to get Ward, but we're getting Ward. There we go. that one quite can I get yeah. without getting too close I think I can okay now we're too close maybe there Don't get double stacked to rot that's bad ah damn Londis is trying to kill me again Ward in the green sludge. We still got ads, yes. Mm. 
Well, that heals, yeah. I don't think it does, but yeah. Alright. I think... I think Londis <laughs> terminated his pet when it was attacking me. I know! It just died anyway. I didn't hit it. Uh oh, another wall. Sitting, I am sitting. I'm waiting. Warding. Rot's gone away, that's what we like. This guy is a nightmare. You're making an adorable noise. Oh yeah, I knew that. Being like an old Abby. Sparrow flight going walking around going Quick what they never quite work out what they say, but it sounds almost like words. Quick wow. Yes! And there's the, is the tradition, tea bag. <laughs> ah, lag. Lag? Oh, for... I'm trying to get out of the way. You watch the stream, you will see me... rubber banding like hell. Oh my god, come on! I can't get away from this stupid thing. So, there we go. BBI Faithful 1000. You have to be an Advi to use it. Um, not going to work well for it with an AS build. There's the reinforced bow uh, armour you need 210 for. Oh my god, can I just move from that spot? <laughs> I can't get off the NPC, it's just... <laughs> what the hell? Teabag glue trap, you're not kidding? My god, that was a nightmare! Yeah, I tried sitting once more, it did seem to fix it. Right, it's now time to tickle the cabbage. <laughs> Sam Bam Cunningham 84, he just loved your teabagging so much. Yes. That's what he said. Come back. More teabag. More teabag. Your something got stuck in his mouth. <laughs> Doing. There's a mental image I will never get rid of. Oh dear. That's just nuts. Right, so um I've got I think I'm okay now. I think I'm okay. I shouldn't have done the tea bag, that was uh, very foolish. Um but I thought slightly funny for the stream. Right, so I want to cancel that and put on the add def aura instead. There we go. He said nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Favor 2, sit down once more, that should help. Yes. Welcome to the stream. My ad is melee. So, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I'm not... Maybe everyone keeps saying, I, I, we, he was melee along. It makes a good trophy. Uh, okay, I'll log Kalos too.
Oh, before I do, you feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Houndberg has reached enlightenment. Congrats. There you go, you got your grats there. So we'll log the Kalos 2. The original. It's a good trophy. Yeah, one day, who knows? Never say never. I've never deleted him. I didn't... Oh my God, that's a little bright. There he is. My little Advi. Who I never really quite finished, did I, if you think about it? Never put him in alphas or anything. Never got him to AI 30. And there he is. Gimp as hell, really, and he's missing parts and bits that have been thrown out to other people. Right, I am on LFT. Oh, in case you were wondering. Born. There you go. Saturday, December 1st at 21.14 hours, 2001. My first re-roll. He's an adv, so I mean full geared, he's still gimp as well. Yes, you will observe on my hotbar that certain things are now missing, like no name has gone, and I can't even remember what item that was, but he doesn't have it anymore. He just has random gear on. Yeah, there you go. Has bags of memories, though. Many bags of memories, like... You have made a mistake. Cannot be obtained in the game any other way now. Except someone giving you one. You've just killed one of our trusted employees. This was during the amnesty of 2001. So yeah, look, the old books. He has been down here before, but... Yeah, all his morphs, like... That used to be completely full, his favourites. All the, all the ones people asked for, and then one of his buff bars... ...was on here. Yeah, question mark, another question mark. Playful Cub. Playful Cub other, Wolf, Wolf other, Wolf team, yada yada yada. And then the various perception buffs as well. All gone, all nerfed. Beauty of life. That was pretty good, but the CH is uh, completely balked now, so. Still a good heal. In fact, let's have a look. Played 374 days, 22 hours, 11 minutes and 23 seconds. <laughs> Boink. There we go. He has the trophy. Thank you very much, guys. I miss my Advi. No, oh, well, combat. I'll just leave team and boing out instead. Less reminiscing, more looting, so we can finish this before Sav's curfew. Yes, true. <coughs> I have an, or a near full inventory of old stuff that doesn't drop anymore. Uh, for pistol, it's not bad. Oh god, running around with the banjo because it buffed adventuring. Yes, I remember. And ICC, where frame rates go to die. Right, I'm just going to run him back and then relog very quick. My god, the frame rate. It doesn't matter what you do. 
I mean, people have come in, and I know someone who's got a 3090 and a, a 9900K processor. So no slouch that's overclocked to like five gigahertz and they still get like 20 odd frames a second in um, ICC. So ain't your graphic settings. It's just something wrong with the play field that's never been fixed. All right, so I shall park him once again. Yeah, the stats on it are not actually completely terrible. And it does give an ADV full auto. Uh, let's have a look if it's known. No, it doesn't know. I don't know how much um, FA you're going to need to get that down to a reasonable level. But it only has full auto. No fling, no burst. Conway Critty, wait, did you just say Funcom doesn't fix things? You better believe it, baby. <laughs> it's an upgraded version of the Job. Yeah, I was thinking that. Um, I'd gone melee for the Sol fires and couldn't be bothered going back to ranged when the Merc raids started. And everyone's going, oh, you need a pain and a rain of Patricia. I was like, no, nah, I'll just stay melee, what the hell. So I did. Right, there we go, back on LFT. With a more functional tune for this raid. Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Someone buffed me. What with? I just saw that then. Layla in you execute improved cut red tape. Fantastic. Are we heading down the long way down? Yes, we should. Your allies are in combat. Damn them. Okay, I'm down. I feel like my camera's off. That's better. Okay, any missing buffs? I don't think. I think we're okay. Stim fiends. Always stim fiends first. Prop reminder. So lame, can't zone. Does happen. Yes, and the uh, uncontrollable anger does try and force you to fight it like an enforcer. He's stuck, unable to zone. I definitely had lag before, I think, or I snookered myself by trying to teabag humanities. Which is a thing, apparently. Yeah, I should just um, go all out on the damage on the way down. And save the uh, special protective drone hood for later. Okay, we're looking good here. Stim fiends to annihilate. Oh, 
Don't spin around. the violent vagabonds drop their um, upgraded cloak but they don't they drop nothing which is unfortunate there we are that's incredibly cheap well balanced spirit helper of libra for 500 credits <laughs> i'm sure they want 500 mil but yeah that's not what they wrote and no you can't I've heard this argument before. If it's that's the price on it, that's the price they have to sell it at. That's not true. A price ticket is an invitation to trade, not a binding contract. Also, nobody has to sell you anything. So, there you go. No. The old tales of a number falling off inside of the windscreen of a car on a car sales lot and the owner being forced to uh, sell it at that price are urban legend because they won't and they don't have to there's no legal precedent for it and that's pretty much the same in every country i don't know if it's absolutely every country but in the uk and like the states it's not something is buggy hmm See, all right, Mihalik is trying to sort out a system error of some description, so we'll just hold fire for a few minutes while he gets that sorted out. Someone just came on Discord and said, there's no trading channel. Poor old marketplace went, am I a joke to you? Um, Alexandra just died. Somehow. Okay, what the hell? Oh, Stim Fiend. Yeah, I mean, he just, like, insta-died. That was just weird. That made no sense at all. I mean, normally there's usually a reason for something like that. I don't know what stim fiends is. I can't see a goddamn thing.
Your advance caught me unawares. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Steady now. Let's not do that. Corpse! Kalos, it's been a long time since I play AO. I thought the subway was a new dungeon. Why the mobs take so long to die? This is, in fact, the new version of it for high level players. 201 plus, in fact. And it drops a lot of interesting high B loot. So they've done like a high level version of it. Um, and also they've done the same with Temple of the Three Winds as well. So there's a high level version. If you enter it 201 in a raid, um, then yeah. These are, I'll show you now. Let's just click on the next pull, which is probably going to be that guy there. 246. And level 25, probably die looking at it. <laughs> yeah. So this is a little different. When I go back to that, yeah, there's no map it for inside because what they've done is um, each boss you kill spawns a portal down to the next level. So we're a few levels down now. Mind you, we, they moved uh, Eumenides, you know, the bald guy with the green outfit and the um, rifle. And he's like literally the toughest boss in here. He's even tougher than the new version of Abby because of the mechanics he uses, debuffs, morphs, mind control. So effectively, effectively, it's like playing a... Um, it's not... It, it's a little bit harder than... It's about as hard as 12, man. Some of it. Thereabouts. Some of it's a little harder, depending. So yeah, and Temple of the Three Winds is the same, although that's quite easy. Uh, just the final boss is a bit tricky. That's where I got this weapon from obsidian desecrator that's better 2 he than um, pride of the zan so yeah new dungeons in our game nice and horrible snares that really irritate me and everything is aggro even the filth fleas who spawn out okay mihali So yeah, I mean most of the team is 220, for good reason. Um, these are not easy peasy mobs in here. Yeah, the, I mean it's old stuff, but the, the mobs got a different loot table etc. So I'm trying to think what's from here that I've got. I don't think I'm wearing anything from here. But yeah, it does have some pretty nice stuff, to be fair. It's not like best in slot either. It's kind of like an alternative in slot. So if you can't, you know, you haven't got... Yeah, my the sword I've got is from the new Temple of the Three Winds. In fact, there's two new two-hand edge weapons from there. Uh, this is the other one corrupted edge and I'll just pop it on now so you can see it but that is the exact sword that the keepers holding on the character creation screen and in the IPS buildings but it's not quite as nice as this <laughs> in terms of damage which is why I use the big thing which does more damage so there you go so yeah, they did that. Pyramid of Home, they opened that. That's a new dungeon. Yeah, Savix Gun is from the subway, which is... Um, let's have a look. There you go. No. Uh, Ali, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a legally modified dreadlock obliterator grenade. It's a decent grenade weapon. So yeah, there's loads of useful stuff, so... A lot of people come here to raid because there's a lot of nice stuff to be had in here. Um, and, of course, the new version of the Belt of Justice. You can see there, free deck 6, add all off, 20. Health and nano, 300. NCU, five, uh, 50. Uh, 32 evades. Uh, 
nano resist for 30, heal delta, nano delta 5, nano cost minus 5 for either side. You've got to have 6,000 tokens, but not if you're neutral. You can't have it. So, yeah. Uh, patchwork defense drone, so another HUD item there. Max health, 1200. Re heal reactivity, 5%. Heal delta, 5. Critical, decrease, 5. Chemical ACs, all 800. Nano resist, 20. Really nice little defensive HUD for tanking there. So, yeah, we're hoping they're going to do a remake of Steps of Madness and Biomare as well. That should be bloody hard. I'm thinking of one room in particular. If everything was the same level as you, swarming you with the debuffs they've got in there at high, like a high level versions of them. Oh boy. That's going to be fun. Be fun to take out, yeah. Mihalik is. In. Please, no steps of madness. <laughs> Why not? It's a cool dungeon, man. That dungeon was so atmospheric. I remember the first time going in, the light changing and the creepy music and freakazoid bloody debuffs and mobs coming at you. We're like, what the hell is going on here? I thought it was awesome. Looks like ass. <laughs> okay, it looks like ass. I'm hoping by they do buy them air at least. I like ass. <laughs> I think he may. I think he means you know. Step of Madness has no level lock on it, but it's recommended to be what like level thirty forty to start. No, that's the me. Oh, good God! Can we not get depraved in chat, please? All right, we're about to come up on the uh, slum runner uh, queen. He's down here. I'm going to kill all the ads first. Yes, we are. All caves do. Oh, dear God. We have descended into the... Wrong end. We've gone down that rabbit warren of. Uh... <laughs> Please, no more. Crypt of Home high level could be pretty cool, yeah, I agree. Conway pretty. The regular slum runners first. There is a boss in amongst all this as well, by the way. We can make her out the big slum runner in the middle. I'm just killing off the ads there. There you can see the big bugger. Crypt of Home would be nice with upgraded crap pistols. Ooh, yeah, that's a point. I had those, I remember farming them. And slum spawn we ignore, I think. Oh, maybe not. Albino Slum Runner. Yeah, they're all quite pale, aren't they? Killing the slums uh, spawn. Yeah, so the boss. Oh, that's 240 there. And the boss themselves. 285, so yeah. Definite high beast stuff here. She can drop some interesting bits and pieces, but I can't quite remember what. But they do have... Oh, ignore them. Okay. Ah. Fail. I plan it map on to remind everyone to use the map of Rubicon. The best Rubicon map. The world. <laughs> oh, 
Mars. Carlsberg doesn't make Ruby Car maps, but if they did, they make savage. Cyborg Barracks updated, yeah. Well, everyone's kind of coming up with, oh, can you imagine a high level version of, you know? That's pretty cool. Spawn some Eumenides out on. That was the crap perk. <laughs> yeah, an updated health spinner could be pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to see something like that as well. Imagine the, the um, new director pistols. Uh, Desert Re 1, 000, 10 thousands or whatever they're called. Imagine those updated. I remember when they were like one of the best pistols in the entire game at any level. I remember having them on my uh, Advi as well. Cryptobome is also reasonably sized and would, wouldn't take six items to clear. <laughs> oh, Cyborg Barracks, yeah, it's not too big. They could have the cyborgs drop, you know, like um, cyborg implants that are actually wearable with weird, you know, like some funky different stats on them you don't normally see. And Livos is down, you know, just the trash to mop up. But the trash just keeps respawning so we ignore it during the main fight. Ooh. I think I'm inside a light bulb there, something. Quick look at the loot for the stream. Ooh, what do we got? We got Aspect of Paralyzing Fear and some Bow Armor boots. So there you go. All Def, 75. And uh, it's HUD or Utility, any slot. Resist, 15% uh, Fear in PvP and Mez. Not horrible. Situational item. I haven't got one, and I don't really PvP, so... I just think Biomare should be the next one. They kind of did it backwards, they did Temple, then they did here. Although they may have been planning to roll it out in sort of the old level ranges. But yeah, we got Temple first, then they opened the subway. Um, as a new dungeon, so I'm just waiting to see what we might get next, if we get anything. Speculation, no no one has officially said that they're working on it, or there is any plan to roll out any more, yada yada, so we don't know, but it'd be nice if they did. When I say they, I mean the one guy that's still working on it, <laughs> if he can find the time, you know. But it's a cheap way to create new new content for the game, if you think about it. Reuse all the original looking assets and then just re gauge them and rejig them for this raid. Someone running in for a little bit of loot. Yes, indeed. Actually, let's, let's improve the illumination. Let's have Rubicon. Slightly brighter. There we go. We're just waiting there while they run in and loot. Or heading down. Heading down anyway.
Fuck reminder. You get in there. What's the orange glow around your boots? That's just a keeper or that. Uh, from Aura of Revival, I think. Is what does it? That's why you pretty much always see keepers with that. Pretty much every keeper will perk that line. Oh yeah, it's hard to see now. <laughs> Yeah, when you go into the grid you've got it as well and you get it when you've just been killed so it's definitely one of the Pokemon's I think it is Aura Revival which is in that NCU somewhere <laughs> oh that's the red aura the little orange yellow around the keeper's feet see there is from Aura of Revival which is that there you go. When you go in the grid with it, um, it's at the bottom of your little, you know, pyramid, inverted pyramid that you become inside the grid. Or is only really worth it for that. I don't. I don't know what else I would use. Blessing maybe. Kipper. Just more and more health. It's got a few good perks, but... If you want to make a more tanky um, keeper, yeah, maybe. Blessing, yeah. Lay on hands. Yeah, I've had that before. Devotional armour. Curing touch, yeah. More heals and stuff and HP. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. So yeah, I might have, I might give that a go. But it is a bit of a lifesaver when you're you're quite low. Yeah, active heals. Yeah, could be could be better than revival. Well, when I get the rest of the the remaining two intelligent uh, Sims, right hand and feet, for reasonable prices, we get them from Pand, T and H more more accurately. Um, then yeah, I'll be doing a perk reset anyway, so maybe do them then. Give it a try. I think we should rejig um, Will to Fight to some other kind of dungeon. The high level of something, I don't know. Right, keep the keep the twenty five percent gas. Or was it mayhem in there? Is it zero percent? Um and then put some fat loot in there. <laughs> so, let people play. Got a neural burnout behind me, guys. Having a lot of fun. Start going on high-level starter area. That could be interesting. A high-level elite. You can only go in once a week. It kicks you out after four hours. I don't know. There's, there's so many possibilities, really. I think I had a few perks in Blessing at one point. It'll feel small though with level 220 run speed. Yeah, it would. Very. It doesn't even feel that big now, even at like level 1. You know, when you start going in direct lines over things. I mean, it's big enough. It still takes time to run here, there and everywhere, but 
Yeah, compared to 220, no. You always find that if you've been playing on a lobby, like you've just started a tune, you think, oh, I'm going to get a load of stuff from, um, from a reap. A couple of hours, you log back into the 220 to go off and do stuff. My God, you feel like you're going a bazillion miles an hour. It just feels ridiculous. And yet we're, we're all kind of used to it. Good battle station sort of thing. Yeah, maybe. High level model version of it, but it's, uh, it's a PvP zone. Could be interesting, yeah. Most people just farm PvP battle station these days. Not as many people actually want a PvP thing. As long as they cap enough times for the daily, etc. Getting there though, folks. I'm just looking at the clock here and thinking for old Savic. And a few interruptions tonight, including. I mean, if we'd have gone straight down and not bothered with um, Humanities, we'd have done this already. <laughs> He's a, even on a good day, he's like a solid 10 minute fight. Saying that, I think I've only killed him three times ever. Or is it even two? I'm not sure. No, oh, three. But he doesn't particularly. I think he has the potential to drop something unique, but it's a very low drop rate. Humanities is fun. Yeah, now now we know how to beat him, yeah. God, before that though, it was like, oh my god, why are we even doing this? We've been here four hours and he's still up full health. We've died nine times, you know. Then it isn't fun. <laughs> But this is how it goes. I mean, how many times were the mercs spawned and, and despawned before anyone took at least one of them down? Before someone went, why not go parrot, jump in and jump back out again? To pull them out and uh, all the various tactics that were tried. Yeah, and it's not an exaggeration. I can remember the mercs were up for week, like two weeks before anyone actually killed one. Because they had a 30, they've got like, a, is it 30 minute? I think it originally, 30 minute spawn window. So even after they've spawned, if you haven't killed them after 30 minutes, they despawn. So people go, yeah, we've got it, we, we can hold them, you know, we can keep people alive while we're fighting them and just not have enough damage to actually take them out. It was, it was, it was really was like, um, crushing. Eventually we got there. Yeah, I think yeah, they used to be 30 minutes. I, I remember distinctly a screenshot of Storm fighting Ian Ward. Uh, and I'm talking 80 people at the time from one girl just trying to take him down. And they just missed it by about 40 seconds or something. Almost did it, trying to get the server first, you know, to beat Ian.
probably go for Lost Thought first, because he's debuffing us. Now, 30 minutes on Ian War, because he had more chance of dropping the tank armor, we thought, because he was the biggest, baddest one. Constantly. You came here to die. I can remember the first. I remember getting light note and tank armor for the first time, walking around like everywhere, thinking I was the, you know, the big I am. Thought I was Elvis. <laughs> Lost Thought mezzes you, which is annoying, like a mez pet would. So all the, all the mobs, are, even though they've just reused old meshes and whatnot, they're all redesigned and do different stuff. Got to remember careful jumping in here because um, you jump incredibly high and you can get yourself stuck in geometry very quickly. Because even though these uh, various parts of the dungeon are gated um, yeah <laughs> you can still come unstuck there. This guy drops a couple of nice items for NTs, etc. Rather nice shoulder pad items. He just has redonkulous amounts of HP. Yeah, it's like 65 to nano skills or something, I can't remember now. But bloody good. No, it's not a common drop at all. Definitely not. If you're trying to get that Garrick's full potential, 3k MC, it's definitely going to help you out. That's the thing with these guys. The thing I don't like about them, they have so much damn HP <laughs> for a six man team. pretty bloody hard, you know. It is simply... they're just... they're redonkulous. You must work for them. Finally. There you go. The Scion is down, and he's dropped boots and a legally modified dreadlock panther 
One hand blunt. It's quite nice. I believe. I don't know. I don't think I want it on... Is it better than the Hassan hammers? I don't think it is. But if you haven't got a Zan hammer, it's pretty bloody good. Put it that way. Oh yes, I reload. It's a cabbage. I don't know if that is better than the Zan hammer. Uh, if I click back, I should have the stats there. Let's have a look. 352.47, crit. Fast attack brawling Dimash. Hmm. Well, it's not awful. <coughs> I mean, the only one hand blunt character I've got is my enforcer, who is a sort of in case of emergency, break glass in force, you know. <laughs> no, not a serious one. There we go, Hemophage has won the one hand blunt. Congrats, my dude. Oh yeah, the bow armor. I mean, a full set. It's not bad. Nano in it. Nano heal. Direct damage efficiency. Yada yada. There's a lot of good stats on it. And they all stack with a full set. You know, it could be a viable set of armor for certain setups. So don't dis. You know, don't discredit it just yet. I've got about 30 minutes before I'm going to have to call it a night. And I think Sab's about the same, I think. That said, one night, I think it was the day Cyberpunk released, I was streaming it. <laughs> Just like, I'm playing this game, I'm sorry. Albeit at, like... 1080p on the lowest possible settings at 30 frames a second stream. It still looked good though. I have played that a lot lately. We wait for him to run away. And then down we go. Careful on the bridge or we end up with like an entire room full of crap trying to attack us, which we don't want. Slightly better view for the stream. I was fighting for that. You know. So it was pets taking the uh, pet weight, jump down, walk pet walk. It's the best way of doing it. Same as it is in the Lobby Dungeon. <laughs> Which would help because there's a really meaty crit on the obsidian desecrator.
So this next boss we're going to encounter is a big... Um, spider thing, but it's not that hard to kill. The mob after this, however... Virgil is definitely... He's the second toughest fight in... I'll say that. Because honestly, the, um, the Abbey fight is pretty easy once you get the swing of it. Thing is, you got the same with the green rot again. So you've just got to make sure of spacing, and you can get rid of the two ads he has by snaring him in a, another room. We're attacking a filth flea, but I can't seem to get in range of it. <laughs> I've got to follow it around because it won't bloody. It's out of melee range. There we go, it's followed me. <laughs> All that to make a filth flea bloody work. Londis, why, why are you... Oh, it's Londis' pet. I was like, why's Londis gone green? This guy's got like an AOE mez, sort of stun. You just put your tank over there with him, and everyone else on the other side. Bugger. Get him away from everyone else. I hit him a little too hard there, I think. Must have landed a meaty crit on him, I think, maybe. Oh, it could have been one of the, um, could have been Purify, it's like a 10k taunt. We're doing okay, only him, Virgil, and then end boss. As far as I know, Abby's the only one that drops the new belt, as far as I know. But I'm quite happy with the belt I've got, being honest. I may get one event chilly. I know Mahalik is, that's Alexander, is absolutely dying to get one, so I ain't gonna bid on it. Six thousand tokens anyway, I think I have more. Eight thousand six hundred and forty side tokens. Yes, that's what the game is like nowadays. I remember thinking that 1k tokens was near impossible to do once. Till I did it. This is back when you used to get one one token per mission before team missions and I actually did it I mean I'm so bloody proud of myself as well lost thought with the mez see that minus 3k a knit not good have to rely on specials pretty much to kill it. <laughs> and waiting for that mez to go. Don't forget to cast it. Out. Yeah, it can be problematic for a doctor. And suddenly I'm in minus 3k in it. Free, free movement plays it. Oh, well, that's good to Keep getting them. I haven't paid for any stims or these. 
since they started doing daily rewards or logins. I actually gain them at a higher rate than I use them from login rewards. Which is kind of nuts. I think we can clear in 30 minutes. And we don't die on Virgil. We get him done once. Multicoloured screwdriver. One build. Oh my god. It was worth farming it, I'd say that much. And massive thanks still to Robbo for uh, gifting that to me. That was pretty epic. Even though I went to the wrong bloody dungeon first. if I had infinite space on bars and infinite space in my inventory. You know, you've got potentially a hundred slots of... Um, you've got ten bars of ten, so there's a hundred. Um, but yeah, <laughs> realistically, do you know? I mean, if you've got some cool dance routine macros, maybe. to the second to last boss. This one's always fun. Early ads first. Virgil spawns a bunch of ads that we've christened Melvins. Um, and they hit like a bloody train, like 6k, 3k kind of hits, three of them pounding away on your tomb and uh, yeah, you, with the boss on you as well, you're in a world of trouble. Virgil feels relaxing when I'm not the dock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, not so much. want reflect in here okay might be more useful because you more or less cannot avoid being hit even with all the ad death there we go done the top one barrier of the righteousness which ain't much But it helps. And it stacks with the, the regular one, I think. I think that's the top one. Yeah. That would be it. Dispenser Keeper. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's the DB question. I 
I attack him though. Crit drain. Ah, works on the Melvins. Yes, I attack. I know. He attack. <laughs> yeah, I think I might go for a bit of uh, die fence as well. If you're not sure, that's from Pyramid of Home, that item. That's... Um this ancient protective drone. So, a bunch of ACs, critical decrease for 10, heal reactivity, heal delta, and max health. Nice bit of defensive HUD item there. But it only goes in HUD 3, so it's not like you could stack it with that one, which would be nice, but there you go. And hug the walls away from the blue-white light of doom. Okay, I'm holding off 15 seconds. DD. I waited. You tore through bloody Carlo there, so you can see the kind of damage he actually does by how quickly he took down poor old Kali. Well, he's dead now, anyway. Yeah, when he runs through doors, don't charge in straight away because he usually casts the wall of death behind him. And it's mainly me hugging the wall. <laughs> it's all you see on keeper. And once again with massive on the boss. And killing or debuffing the Melvins. The little anti spawns isn't worth it because they, they're only up for about 30 seconds. They despawn. Which is about when you've just finished debuffing them. And wallop, they're back on you again. They've respawned fresh ones. Which ain't a lot of fun, got to tell you. He has reflectors. He has a reflector. And this guy nailed down was a tough fight to begin with. Not gonna lie. We got this as far as him on uh, test live. <laughs> it's like, wow. We did a lot of dying, I'm gonna have to say.
you do have to kite him on occasion as well because he is just nuts white cloud thing that you keep seeing is uh, not fun. The red thing barely hits you, to be honest. If he didn't have the yards, he'd be a lot more manageable. <laughs> I'm saying that earnestly. Don't follow, because the white cloud of doom will get you. And invariably, he comes running back as well. Sometimes he stays in the other half of the corridor, and you're like, what? Where's my mom? Stay out of the white, because the white will almost instantly kill you. Best avoided when you can. Switch sides for really. Yeah, it makes the tower plant sound when he's... Uh, ...casting certain things. Which is really freaky. And not fun. Well, there's a great view everybody of a big yellow splodge with some text whirling around the screen uh oh not good I think we lost too many I don't know Yep, no dot, no chance. Damn it. But yeah, that blue, that cloud will uh, will end you. That's how easily it can all go horribly wrong. Damn. <laughs> I get a rebirth. Not yet. Nope. Still not yet. Now we should be able to get straight back down to him. And we, oof, I don't know on time, guys. That's the only thing. Got 20 minutes. So we're going to have to be slick. I do have to go. Stuff to do and all that. I'm floating in the sky. Well, I'm not, but, you know. Uh, I think I know why we have lag. <laughs> it's, uh, uh... It's grid stream, I think. Art director... Uh, Wolf is spawning stuff and everything else, which is awesome. Um, but I can't stream it with the music, otherwise just instant bloody um, everything else.
Yeah, I thought it might be the explosion as well, but... Yeah, we did have him most of the way down. Hey, hey, hey. Remember the way you ran down because there are still mobs in here. Type of thing. Running off that bridge sometimes can be problematic as well. You sure you want me to go with the barrier of the righteous and not with um, imminence? There's 210 adult death. Okay, my dude. Do we'll go with the extra reflect? That's all my buffs done. Have I got AC buff? No. ACs and such, please. Because as soon as Mihalik goes down, I usually pull the aggro because I've been using all of these, which builds up a lot of hate. But I'd rather have a big chunk of AC as well. It's awfully dark in here. That's why I'm waiting to start. There we go. <laughs> Ruby car light. A little bright. Oblivion. That's the one that kills you. And proc reminder everyone Yeah, we are, 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 we are
just saying. Time for a run. Way too many ads in here, I'm counting like nearly six. Feels like. <laughs> oh, mind oblivion. Oblivion will hurt you. Quite a lot. Fifteen minutes. Can we get this dungeon done? Oh my god. I'm going to keep running with cooldowns just to make it one less to worry about for the dock, which should make it easier to focus on Halleck's tomb. Even though I may suddenly find myself needing them anyway. Keep running. to save the cooldowns for when I suddenly find myself in aggro. <laughs> I go, oh dear. Apart from that one. 1k AoE heal. Just keep using that. hard. Wait for the cloud. Fear the cloud. Respect the cloud. Prices are getting silly. Looking at DNet. Or oh, Darknet. Range. No, not. I have you now. <laughs> Famous last words, Darth. I'm not hitting him from here, am I? Yeah, let's get around. Where the hell is he? He's over there. Okay.
Out of range. Also out of range. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. Get rid of rejuvenation and go with the other perks. Active heals. Might be more use. I mean, they're not massive, but you know, in this kind of situation, you get through on the skin of your teeth sometimes. Oh, I feel the dim ash coming on. Yep, there you go. I don't know how many K that was for, but it hit it. Alright, just run around till the bloody adds bugger off. Because they do. There you go. Virgil! We managed it the second time. We have Lost Blade of Elder to um, Sun Yoshi. It ain't bad, you know. It ain't bad at all. I wouldn't mind it. I don't have one. Blam14 is now following. Thank you for the follow. Almost missed that. I need to make my alerts louder. Toyota. <laughs> oh god, the dog's off. Nobody wants? I do. Okay, nobody else wants. I'm grabbing it. Let's have a look. It looks more realistic, but, you know, this does have more damage. But it's cool. It's a very cool looking weapon. And after you've been turned round by running after Virgil 50 times, north is the way out. Nicely knit debuff proc. I'll give it a go. I mean, it does have. Oh, it doesn't have brawl on it though. No. No, no. It does not have brawl. We, we like brawl. That other. Is there another one that had brawl on it? Oh no, it does have brawl on it. I'm blind. Two hand edge, brawl, dimash, fast attack. No, it does have it. 450, 550, 400 crit versus obsidian, which is 425, 575, 666 crit. Fat crit. I'll try it, but this has got the dot prop. Okay, I'll give it a go. Five minutes or so. If we can do this in one hit, I'll be about five minutes late. Kill these. Next two, we do not fight. Five crit. Gonna switch back. Go for all the damage. Looks nice though. K 
keep failing to equip. Probably because I'm using all the other actions. It's, it's one of those uh, bragging rights ones, isn't it? Whereas the obliterator really is that big weapon. Yeah, 6k crit straight away. And it does have the dot. Which we like. We like the dot. Yes, we do. We're getting here. Yes, we are. And this boss is only the third hardest. So you pull the two big things in here. Then a crat uses shackles of obedience on them, which is like 20 odd minutes long or something. Um, so you no longer have to deal with the rock. You've just got to deal with when he pulls you into his his guts, I suppose. Into his stomach. Do not fight them. Yeah, that one... Is that one going to be alright where it... No. I have to bring it back in. See, it's the rock that causes the big problems. And this... Pulling them in here and snaring them removes it. All right, give it the root. Right, there we go. As long as it's behind this door, generally speaking, we're okay. Where's my spot? About there. And wail on him. I'm going to go in with the full hood. Yeah, this crits harder and it crits more often, it feels like. Once the rock wears out, we should be laughing. Ow. My guess is... He doesn't like me. Back to the defensive hood. <laughs> <laughs> While he's aggroing me. See there, I'm getting attacked by the pestilence mobs. They're the ones that bring in the green rot, you see. So even though they're aggroing me, they're not able to come here and get me. Because they're snared. And it's going to be on me. Yes, it is. Because this guy has just swallowed Mihalik. Mihalik is back. sucked into the stomach. Unless I do this. And when he knocks you back, he usually pulls you forward again, and then you're in the guts. Okay, pretty. I'm not gonna lie, it's not pretty. There I go. Right. Wait for things to spawn in or whatever. Draw in and then just avoid the green. And clicky. 
come out on his backside. Usually with a little bit of rot. So keep your distance from everyone. More DD. Yes, I know. I wish I had more DD. But I only have what I have. fun to come in on a shade actually for this one fight it's going to drop two belts I can feel it I'm thinking no I've got to get to the shops before they close I'm going to be, fucking, going to be running there tonight cars in the garage for a couple more days so should have gone earlier in the day but there you are Time to die. Carl's family have eaten. I haven't. <laughs> yeah. Teenage son picked out the. Um... <laughs> uh oh. Dear. Right, okay. Not good. He's on me. I'm going to have to tank it. It's so damn close as well. Oh no, 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 no. Don't walk me now. No, Dimash. Die, die. Before I end up in his belly again. Oh, got him. <laughs> Ugh. What do we get? Anything good? Or was it trash again? Bulwark and a shard. Shark. Let's have a look. That's the pink um, tank armor, if any of you were curious. And the illegally modified dreadlock modified shark, which is an implausibly long and silly name. So it's all good. And the counterfeit Froob t-shirt, as you can see, gives two and a half thousand ACs. So you can you can RP with a bit of AC, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of thinking I wouldn't mind the bulwark as social. But I know Savik will kill me. Ian War, tell us too. You came here to die. You came here to die. You came here to die. Spam filter engaged. <laughs> yeah. You came here to die. You came here to die like 5,000 times during the 20 minute fight or whatever. But yes, awesome. Ian War is in chat, everyone. You came here to die. It's like I am Groot before I am Groot. Would you like a cup of coffee, Ian? You came here to die. Oh, sugar as well. <laughs> We're going to do it in cabbage net then. See who wants the tank. I'll put it on my, my pretty keeper. Will it fit with the armour? Let's have a look. 
You're going to bid on the bulwark for the for the female keeper in the white outfit that took like nearly a week solid to farm all the bits. Fall a curse, welcome to the stream. It's almost over. I'm five minutes past time. <laughs> we'll get this done and then, yes. I think I have, but I'm going to do it again just in case. You have already added. There you go. It didn't reset. I've just discovered this channel. It's been nearly 20 years since we've played together. My God. Quite possibly if it's from the early days of 2001 and my Advi Kalos 2. But I do have a YouTube channel that's been around a little while. There's about 1,600 AO videos on it. <laughs> Roll results. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mihalik got his... His, uh, his pretty um, tank armour and I really, really, really have to go. You were trolling. Why are you trolling? Don't be trolling. I bet you've got a tomb that needs it. Oh, add up again. Oh, I'm late. <laughs> I've got time. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, there you go. I'm bidding on it. Seven minutes late. Oh, my God. Yeah, but when I'm not wearing, you know, wearing full beast armour, I'll be wearing that. If I got that, you know, that kind of thing. Yay! I has the pretty thing. Yoik! There we go, and I know you all want to see it, so there we go. I'm going to put that in social just for now. Kind of doesn't really work with the uh, shoulder pads, but it's pretty good. It has the pretty tank armour on my pretty outfit for the keeper. So there we are. Blue and purple and pink. Yeah, a little. Yeah, there you go. I match Savic now. <laughs> right, I have got to go. Thank you, everyone, for coming along to the stream. A quick search to see if anyone else is doing AO, and I will go raid them. Uh, Crone is here. That could be one. Three viewers. What was the bling? What was the bling? Conway Critty is now following. Thank you for the follow. And he's doing something. Right, okay. Um, I don't know if he's talking to anyone or whatever. Oh no, he's gone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Is Che streaming? Che is streaming. Okay. Tra Che's a fab guy, so let's go raid Che. There we go, everyone. Go say hi to Che. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. All go. All go say hi to Che. He's a cool guy. Okay, folks. Thanks all, and bye for now.